as the United States tries to figure out XRP and legislation, etc., the world is soldering on with XRP. One country that is really bullish and already using XRP is Australia. Cross-border payments, of course. Westpac, an Australian bank, is using XRP to send money to over 100 countries. This is a faster and cheaper way to send money internationally than traditional methods. Now, who doesn't want that? Remittances. RippleNet, a global payment network that uses XRP, is being used by some Australian remittance companies to send money to their customers overseas. This is a faster and cheaper way to send remittances than traditional methods. Those are the two factors that I find that are attracting these companies. The speed of the network and the low fees compared to legacy systems. Liquidity provisioning. Some Australian banks are using XRP to provide liquidity for cross-border payments. This means that they can send money internationally without having to pre-fund accounts in foreign currencies. That's important. This can save banks money and make it easier for them to process cross-border payments. Now, anything that's going to save banks money, you know, they're all over it. The use of XRP in Australia is still very early stages, but it's growing rapidly. It is likely that we will see more Australian businesses and institutions adopt XRP in the future. There are some specific examples of how XRP is being used in Australia. Coinspot. An Australian cryptocurrency exchange allows users to buy and sell XRP. Independent Reserve. Another Australian cryptocurrency exchange also allows users to buy and sell XRP. BTC Markets, a third Australian cryptocurrency exchange, allows users to buy and sell XRP. Simplex, a payment process company, allows users to buy XRP with their credits or debit cards. Coinjar, a cryptocurrency wallet provider, allows users to store XRP. Now let's look at volumes. According to CoinMarketCap, the total volume of XRP processed in Australia in the last 24 hours is $2.2 million. This is relatively small compared to the total of XRP processed globally, which is currently at $10 billion. However, the volume of XRP processed in Australia is growing rapidly. In the past 30 days, the volume of XRP processed in Australia has increased by over 50%. So 2.2 million processed, that is proportional actually, to Australia's population. It's a very, very large country, but it's got a low population compared to its land mass. So that's actually quite significant. 2.2 million a day, that's a lot. It is difficult to see how much volume will be processed via XRP in Australia in the future. However, the growth of the Australian cryptocurrency market suggests that the volume of XRP processed in Australia is likely to continue to grow. Here are some of the factors that could contribute to the growth of volume of XRP in Australia. The increasing adoption of XRP by Australian businesses and institutions, the growing popularity of cryptocurrency trading in Australia, the increasing awareness of the benefits of XRP for cross-border payments and remittances. As these factors continue to grow, it is likely that the volume of XRP processed in Australia will continue to grow as well. There are so many other countries on the list that are doing a lot more than Australia is, but this is just to show that even in countries like Australia, where the legacy systems are quite advanced, the remittance systems are there and established, XRP is still making roads. Why? Because XRP is faster and cheaper than the stuff that already exists. Now, in countries where the legacy systems are not quite so established, XRP provides the technology that kind of leapfrogs the kind of stuff that they had to do to become established, which makes it easier to just implement XRP rather than install some legacy system that costs an arm and a leg. Not financial advice, do your own research, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.